Hello, I'm Samara Zem. I'm the head women's soccer coach at Villanova University. Hi, I'm Cece Fox. I'm a grad student here at Villanova. And welcome to Walking with the Wildcats. So Cece, you transferred to Villanova fall of 2021. What was that transition like and how have you been enjoying it so far? It was kind of nerve wracking transferring mm -hmm. as a senior. Yeah. Um, so like the nerves were a bit high, but also um, I got injured as soon as I got here. And so it allowed me to meet people off the field and um, meet a lot more people that aren't even on the soccer team. So like, I feel like the transition was rocky in the beginning, but like over time it smoothed out. Yeah. And so like, I love it here and I've learned so much and met so many new people. When you're injured, it's, it's a tough thing because you're, you're not as immersed in the sport. You have to find a bit of a different role. Yeah. Transferring in is also hard because, you know, you, you don't have your group of freshmen that you come in with. You're not necessarily a returner, so you're kind of in that middle ground. Yeah. And I look at you now and you're respected and loved by the team. You're, you know, you're at the, right at the core of it. What was that journey like to, to get to where you are now? I would say like it took a lot for me to step out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I'm a very social person, but at the same time, I'm, I feel like I'm one of those extroverted, introverted yeah. type of people yeah. that like I have to get a little comfortable before like I really come out of my shell. But like I think the personalities on our team yeah. kind of like made that easy for yeah. me because um, there's no judgment. Everybody's weird, I'm weird. So like, I feel like it was kind of a fast transition in terms of like me being the new kid on the block to like just being like well, one of the people. One the of the core leaders, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you are a core leader. So how would you say your transition from Campbell um, to Villanova was? It was hard in yeah. a lot of ways, but amazing in more ways. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd say the, the hard piece is change anywhere is learning. And just the way that I am, yeah. I love to hit the ground running. I knew what I wanted the groundwork to look like. So in that sense, it was hard because it's just new. Yeah. But in the amazing sense, I mean, I'd start with the team. The team's just been phenomenal. I mean, the team embraced us with open arms. Yeah. I mean, you all have been incredible to us. You opened up your arms to us and you, you gave us almost undeserved trust right from day one, it felt like. I feel like I'm finally finding my rhythm, That's which awesome. is nice. Would you say like there is anything you were expecting or not expecting from the transition? I was not expecting the team to be as open to the changes that we implemented because again, just like for me, change is hard. Change yeah. is going to be hard for players. It's also different like having a new coach too so I definitely understand like having like a bunch of new players just like we face challenges I can't even imagine as a coach yeah. how that is learning how many 27 new personalities yeah. that's a lot and I feel like a lot of people forget how difficult it is as a coach to juggle all those and to learn it from from the start yeah it's not like you knew any of us from me you, you knew know, you a little bit, little bit. <laughs> but <laughs> So Cece, you know, something that I admire about you is the way that you train every day. You bring this consistent drive and energy and, and that translates on the game field. Where do you feel like that's rooted from? Where does that come from? I never really had a role model growing up. And mm -hmm. so I think like I always wanted to be that for other people. And mm -hmm. I think that's why I put so much pressure on myself. And growing up as an eight year old, there wasn't like a lot of girls that played soccer that looked like me. Mm -hmm. So like it's not something that people openly want to talk about yeah. or feel the need to talk about at times. But like I think it's over time, it's become more of a discussion and like that it's OK to be the only one out there and just to be prideful and like know that you're capable of doing anything just as the next person Absolutely. is. You do an amazing job of representing who you are and it's it's something that I think we all appreciate about who you are. You're, you are Cece. So you're once a player and mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about that and like how it is now being a coach? Like what is your why? What is your reasoning? Ooh, what a question. I love it. When I played our opportunities weren't the same as, as the opportunities that our student athletes have now. And for me, it was be who you want to be and, and don't be apologetic about it. Be resilient, be tough, be competitive if that's who you are. And being a woman in, woman in sports, society typically tries to tell us who to be. Yeah. You be bold, don't be too bold. Be loud, don't be too loud. If you want to be bold, if you want to be competitive, 
If you wake up and all you want to do is win, be that person. And I also really love people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a big part of, you know, why I do what I do is watching people grow. Being a very small part of that journey with people is pretty incredible. Be who you want to be. Be you in your own way. And I think sports instills a lot in us. But I think the, the last part of the why is I'm also really competitive. Yeah. You know, and just being coach, I get to continue to be competitive with my team, for my team. And I think that's a big part. It's not about me. It's being on the journey with yeah. uh, the staff and the team. There's not a lot of um, women's soccer coaches out there, especially mm -hmm. at the collegiate level. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how it's been and like knowing that there's a bit of a lack of representation in terms yeah. of women's soccer coaches and kind of how your journey has been so far with that? Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right. There's not a lot of females in the soccer world that are coaching right now. Um, we're, we're underrepresented. Black and brown females are also underrepresented in the coaching field. I think for me, it's one, allies and mentors have been a really, really pivotal part of my journey. And then I would also say players, you know, there's stigmas out there about a female coach and how a female coach is going to be. And so sometimes it's combating that. But again, when players give you this most valuable treasured piece called trust, that is something that you can really do a lot with. I think we're starting to change the story of what female coaching looks like. In time, we're gonna keep growing, but we have a lot of work to do. I've had one female coach in my entire soccer <laughs> career and like having you here at Villanova has been awesome. How open and honest you've been and like making it so comfortable for people to come to you, whether it's about soccer or just like life in general. And I think having people like that in your life, knowing that you value not only us as players, but also as people. And I think you've, you've made that very clear that you care more about the person than you know, what they're bringing out on the soccer field. Absolutely, so. thank you. I appreciate the compliments. See you time. <laughs> As you look back at this program five years from now, what are some important things that you want players that come after you to say is important to them or they've experienced with Villanova Women's Soccer? Yeah, um, I think that's a really good question. I, okay. I think um, adversity, being able to grow from challenging situations and make the best of it. Um, so how, what about you, coach? What do you think? For me, it's it's multifaceted. One, I would say adversity is 100% big part of it. We see adversity almost within every second of the game. It's such a fluid game. Being able to handle and adapt allows players to do so fluidly and do so well, uh, but there's there's adversity in every aspect of you know being a collegiate student athlete. It's hard. I also would say being bold on the field it looks like this unapologetic player who knows what they want to achieve and accomplish and, and they're not apologetic about it. And within that, you know, for us, when our players graduate, it's not just about the experience they had here, it's about the experience they leave behind for others. And, and it's going to be important uh, that our student athletes graduate knowing who they are uh, and our program prepares them for that. We want to encourage everyone to respect and understand each other, but also to feel like this is a home. I think uh, the future is really bright for our program and it's, it's built on backs like yours. And yours. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cece, for walking with me. Uh, and that is it for this episode of Walking with Wildcats. Go Cats.